Okay, so can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay, so I open up this uh, VS Code. Um, so I can simply click here. And I'll click on Open Folder. So I'll go to Desktop to create a new folder. So this is the folder I created. So if you had wanted to create a new one here, you can click on new folder, type in the name, just the way this one is. So if I click here now, I click on open, then I'll get this new folder to be opened up in this my VS code. Yeah. Okay, so that's just the typical way of uh, creating a folder. So inside this folder that is, is open, now, I'll just quickly close this get started. Then I'll click on this new file here and just have my index.html. So that will be the first file that I will open up. I can write some code on it. So it's also good that I have my style dot css for the cascading style sheet so i press the enter key then i also have my click again i have my main dot js where i'll be putting my javascript so a combination of codes in html css and javascript will give you a good front end code and we are going to be starting up with our front end then we'll now go to back end Okay, so we're starting with HTML. So what is HTML? I'm going to click here. HTML simply stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So it is the language of the browser. So once you're designing a, an application that you want it to be shown in the browser, so you can see this is my code, uh, this is my code editor, and this is my browser, then you have to do it in HTML. For you to have an HTML document, it has to open up with HTML and also close with HTML. So this is how you start up a code in HTML. It has to open with HTML, close with HTML. So inside that HTML, there are two major divisions. So you're going to be having what we call the head section. Then after the head section, you have what we call the body section. So those are the two major sections in your HTML. The head section and the body just like you have in the body you have the head and the body so inside the head section you have the most important thing in the head section which is known as the title so just like you have the eye inside the head the most important thing you have in the head of the html is the title so in the title here i'm going to simply write code now that's the title of this Whereas inside the body is where we have the rest of the things. So here I'm going to use what we call the paragraph tag, we call it the P tag. Every of these things inside this angle bracket, they are known as tags. So this is a P tag, this is a body tag, this is a head tag, this is a title tag. So inside here I'm going to simply write, this is my first website. So that is the first thing. So I'm going to use Command X on my MacBook or Control S if you're using Windows to save. So once I save this, I'm going to right click in the middle here and say open with Live Server. So Live Server is an extension that enables you to open up a server that can serve locally your website because your website you're supposed to host it with a hosting uh, company. But for this purpose of practice, you have to serve from your local host so live server can help you do that so you can see here and i have this is my first website which is exactly what i have here and on top here i have code now which is this code now so anything you put in the title come here but every other thing you put in the body that's what comes here so as a developer your work is to learn how to use a programming language to write on this editor so once you set once you save it and run it it will be available for clients and end users to see this. So this is what we call the front end. So if I now say this is my first website, then I say full stop. I say I am currently 
learning full full stack development so if I save now control s if I see it come here so if I come to this uh, code now and just have code code school so once I save this now I'm going to see that my title is going to change to code school so if I come here now and say BG and I say color equal to red and I save so I can see now that my background color is now red so the more things you write here the more you see them come out here okay so I'm going to change the background to gray and save so that it will not be too shouty okay that is it so I'll change it again to white so that is the basics so I'm going to take out this because the background we are going to be giving our background from the CSS so that is what we are having so this is what we call web development in the simplest form so in subsequent class we are going to be using instead of doing this so if I select the whole of this and do command forward slash, it's going to do what we call commenting. So it has commented out. So in subsequent class, we are going to be doing this. So I just use the exclamation mark and I click it out. So it brings out the, this basic thing. This is similar to what we have here, but this other one, we have the top type showing that we are using HTML5. And we have the link showing that we are using English. And we are, instead of having only title, we are now having the uh, metaphor name viewport that will allow us to do CSS on our project. We also have the meta of equip showing the compatibility as well as the character set we are using. So we have all these together with the title. So this code snippet is able to bring it up for us. So inside here now we can start writing what we want. So I can still say this is web so once I save now I see this is web here so that is what we can do so we can either use this or use this option so I'm going to leave it with what we have in this option since we are starting so that we can build our muscle memory for development now for you to develop developing website is all about writing as many tags as possible in HTML. So I'm going to use Ctrl B to take out this so that you can be seeing this fully. So now we're going to be introducing a whole lot of tags in order to make this site to look beautiful. So number one tag I'm going to come to. So there are many tags known as the H1 to H6. They call them the heading tags. So that is what you're using writing the maybe the name of your website the biggest tag is the h1 so i can write in h1 code school so this is the heading of this website so you can see the way it is written here very bold code school because i used h1 then inside under code school i'm going to write the description of what code school is so if you want to write description then it has to be in a paragraph tag so I can simply say this is a programming school in Lekki, Lagos State. So if I save and send it here, this is a programming school in Lekki, Lagos State. So I can come down here and now use H3. So I can write this and say, okay, after H2, it's always good you use, after H1, you use H2. So here I can say, services offered. So once I save, you see this H2 is a little bit less than H1. So under this, I'm going to use what we call a UL tag in order to bring the various allies.
So we'll call this UL tower, we we'll call it this on order list. So you can use it to bring a whole lot of things. So for services we are over, we can we can say uh, programming classes and we'll come down here again and put another LI. Then you can say career. Coaching, I hope my spelling of career, I think it's fine. Career coaching, then we can also put another LI and say web development. So once you save, you're going to have your another, this is what we call another list. So if I come down here again, I can also use another H2 and say Pro programming languages offered. Then I can come here instead of using another list this time, I'm going to be using other list so that you see the difference between the two. So I can use this and I will say HTML. Then I can come down here, put another LI, and I will say JavaScript. And I can come down here and put another LI and I will say CSS. So when I save now, you're gonna see that this one has one, two, three. So the difference between on other list when you use UL is that it has dots, but when you use other list, you're gonna have one, two, three. Okay, so that is what we have for that. So now you're going to keep, the more tax you bring in, the more you have your work look beautiful. So that's typically what you do for this. Okay. So now we're going to be looking at linking. So I'm going to come up here just ahead of this code school. Just below here. Okay. First of all, I'm going to come down here. Then I'll have another one. So H3, so that you see how H3 is. H3 is also smaller than H2. So inside this H3, I will say um, profile of features. So if I save now, you see the heading of this profile of teachers. So if I come down here. I can use what we call IMG, which is the image tag. So inside this image tag, I can use what is called SRC, which means source. So I will give one image and I'm going to call it picture1pick1.png. So as I save now, it's going to bring this because I don't have picture. So I can give it an alt value and say pick1. So once I save, I will be seeing pick one here, once I don't have a picture. So in order to have a picture, I need to bring in a picture and put it exactly inside this folder in order for it to work. So I'll simply minimize this. Uh, minimize this as well. And I look for a picture here. All these are pictures. So I can simply take, say, this picture now. I'll drag it and put it here. In order for it to work well, I need to make sure that the name, the name I gave that one is pick one. So I need to rename this one to pick. I need to rename it. So once I click on rename, so I change it to pick one. So I press the enter key, go back to my index. Then bring back my editor. So you can see the picture is down here. So that is how you develop. The more code you write here with the tags, the more beautiful this is. So I'm going to come up here and come inside here and use another tag known as ahref and put equal to, and I will say index. 
.html, which is this very file that I'm working on. Then when I go out, I close this off and simply call it home. So if I save this now, I'll see this very home ahrep uh, index.html. Then I close this, okay? So in order for me to enjoy this, I need to create other pages. So I'm going to come here, click here, and I'll have contact us dot html because I want to teach you how we can link up to other pages. So in order to experiment this, I will have to come here and use a address and equate it to contact us dot html then once I close this once I close this I will call this contact let me put it all in capital letter contact us okay so once I have these two I can now simply give this one a background color so that I can differentiate it from the contact us page. So I can simply say bg color equal to my red. Then I save this one. Then I'm going to copy this by doing control A to select all and control C to copy. Then once I get to contact us, I'll do control V to paste. Then instead of red here, I'm gonna change the background to yellow and I'll save it. So if I bring this one bigger, I can see here that I have home and contact us. So if I click on home and stay here, if I click on contact us, I'll go to the next page. If I click back on home, I go to the former page contact us. So I have now two pages but they are having the same content. So I can also change the content. Okay, so that is what I have now. If I want another page again, I can simply come here again and click here and I will say form dot html. So once I save it I know I have another full page. I'll do Ctrl V to paste that same page. Then, if I come here, I can change this form to gray and save. So I now have four. I now have three pages. So the more pages you have, the bigger your website. So every website is a collection of web pages. So now we have three web pages. So I can have form.html and I'll save this. Once I save this, I can call it in capital letter application form. So once I save this now, I'll create another one and I'll call it a uh, href equal to I'll call it gallery.html and close this up. And I'll call it uh, projects. So it's always good we are consistent. Project. Okay. So if I save this now. I can copy this, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, create a new one here, call it gallery.html, then I can paste it here, then I'll change this one to blue, then I'll save it, and I'll now copy this length, make sure that I update my 
index regarding the four of them. Then I will save and also make sure that I have my contact of regarding the four of them instead of two. Control V, then I will save. So now I can now go through all the pages. If I click on home, this is where I am. If I click on contact of the CLA, application form is gray, project is blue. So I'm able to move through pages. So if you want to move, have a link, you use the ahref, which is called the anchor tag. If you want big header, you use head one. If you want paragraph, just a right of use P. If you have second big header, you can use S2. So those are the various things you can do. So I'm going to go back to the home page, uh, which is the index.html. So website is a collection of web pages. So I'm going to change this back to white so that I can show you a whole lot of other things. So this is the home page. This is the contact us page here. I click on it, application form. Project. So we're going to be developing these various pages, and as we're developing them, we'll be learning more tags. Okay. So inside is our home page, which is this index. I'm going to come down here and create what we call a table form. Okay. So for a table. A table we have what we call table headers. So I'm going to have uh, table headers and table body. So I'm going to have first of all table head. So inside the table head, we can have our the rows, which is known as. Uh, So I'm going to be having, say, um, let me think about the data I want to collect. So I can be having data about the data about the, the, the school. Let's okay, let me just pick data about. A class so I can have table row and inside this table row I can have my th1 and call it uh, serial number then I come here another one and call it name then I come here Call it uh, course. Okay. So I can save this, come down here. So you have your serial number, name, and course here. So I can come down again and have another TI. So when I have another row, I will now start writing inside it so I can have my TD so the first TD is the first serial number I can give a uh, 001 then I come inside I can have my other TD the first name is uh, Augustine then I come down again then I have my other TD which is supposed to be for the course so I'm going to write uh, Node.js. So I'll do Ctrl S to save. So if I come down here, I can see 001 for Boston and Node.js. So I can copy this TR exactly the way it is. Then I come down here, paste it here, and put this one 002. And the name here, I'm going to write desire. For the course, I'm going to write JavaScript. So if I save now, you can see now I'm having two records here. 
So I can come on top of here and now use I've used H2 and H3 as well. So I can now use H4 so that it is a student data. So if I save now, so I have student data as well. I have my various uh, serial numbers and this. Okay. So we can see combination of different tags is giving us plenty of the things we need. So the more tags you bring in, the more you are able to create something. So that is what we are going to be doing. So the next thing we will do will be to develop a form, an application form that will have input tags. So if I get to my form.html which is this one, having all this. So instead of now having code still here, I'm going to simply come into this one, check out everything here. So I check out everything here, I can now come here, simply say, simply say, uh, recruitment. So that's the header. So I can come in here, simply say, please fill in this form to apply for this job. So I can press to say, if I click on this application form, say recruitment form, please fill in this form. And you have to develop a form. A form is something that makes your web page interactive. So you can simply say form. So inside the form, you can start putting in your thing. So the number one thing you put is what we call your label. So you can say label for. So what do you want to label? So I can say F name. For the first name. Okay. So I close this out, we have this. So I can simply say first name. I put this in colon here. And if I come down here, I can simply use what we call the input tag. Input. I'm going to give it the type of type of test. Because that's what we use to bring in this type of thing. So I can give it ID. Make sure the ID is determined to be four up here. So F is ID is F name. So please make sure that this is not not new. So I put this so also good you give it a name. If you're gonna be connecting it to database so you put F name close this out, you save, so you have your first name, and you can see what we call input type text, so you can come down here, and use exactly the same thing, and create another one, so before you do that, you might put a DR to break it out, so come here, click control V to press, so instead of F name, can give this L name. So instead of first name, you can call this one last name. So make sure you also change this one accordingly. Then you save. So it says you have first name and second name. Then you can have your your submit button. Will you use the name as F name for the last name as well, or is it a mistake? No, you have to after ID, it. after ID. So it's L name. No, after ID name equals the oh, property yeah, name. Yeah, no, it has to be L name. It shouldn't be F name. You have to change it accordingly. So you save. So that is the form. If you want to bring in a button, you can simply say button. Then inside the button. You can say click name. You can 
same that you have a buffer. So you can also have your input type submit. So input type. Also have that. So this one is a real submit button. Now you can also take this as the case here. Make sure you put a PR so that it doesn't get confused. But first it off. So instead of telling it all the Call this one BWD for password. Then inside here, you can simply change this one to password. Then type instead of saying first, it's always good to just call it password so that when you're typing, somebody will not be seeing what you're typing. Then here, BWD. Here, you also call it BWD. So if you save, you have this so here you can type in your name and make all that thing last name but when you type here it will not be showing because you use the input type pwd so when you're done you can submit it goes out so this is what we call form so in subsequent classes we are going to be developing more on this form and a typical thing that you're going to be doing here is to put in each of these forms inside what we call a deep tag so that you can at some point you can at some point change them into different collection okay so each of them you can enclose inside the so each division can always enclose inside the div. So I come down here. Put this here. Come down. Put another div here. Move this here. Come here. Put this here. Then I'll save. Once I save, make sure that I take this one. Okay, so that I can take these two and move them. Take these two, move them. Take these two, move them. Okay, so it's still giving me the same. Just for organization sake, so that I know that they are different. So now you can see now that we've been able to do some things here. So with time now, we're going to change this thing into pictures, picture gallery, and this. So the more code you write, the more beauty you see. So I can come here and uh, give a space. I write this long distance, long distance. Give a space. Give a space. Give a space. So if I save this now, you will see that my stuff will look better. I will just copy this exactly the way it is. Then I'll go to my index page, use it and replace what I had there. Then I'll save. See now it's better now. This is this line is making it to look more beautiful. And I'll come to my form. It's already in my form. Inside gallery place it with what is inside gallery and I will save it if you make changes you don't save it will not appear so I normally use ctrl s to save ctrl v to paste ctrl s to save so now if I click on these links they are well separated and they are looking fine so you see what we've done is We've been writing in quotes 
by using the different tags, whether we are writing out our form elements or we are developing other things. So we use tag. So what are the tags we have used? We can use the ahref tag, h2 tag, h1 tag, ul tag, ol tag, uh, the h3 tag, the img tag. For the form, you see we use the form tag with the input and labels. Whereas in the index.html, when we scroll down, we use the table tags. So the more you know these tags, the better your ability to present your content in HTML. So we're also going to be learning how to use style sheets to make these things look beautiful. And that is how we're going to be moving. So as the class, are you able to understand what we are doing? Yeah, I'm able to understand. <clears throat> I mean, chiefly, chiefly, um, yeah, I think I'm able to catch up what we're doing today, but I know down the line, we might need to, you know, ask some questions and get some explanations, but yeah, these ones are pretty straightforward. Okay, they are pretty straightforward. So I want you to, to demonstrate these ones. So you quickly create a folder with uh, these four files and develop them. So that we can move forward from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So you can. Uh, um, I don't know whether you want to do sharing your screen or you want to do an pro a later project. Which one is better for you? I want to what? Would you want to do it uh, real time? I will be watching as you share your screen, or I'll give you a small time. You put it together and you present. Um. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> 